Hello, I am Sierra from Crafty Crafters, and I am going to teach you how to make this poodle. It is a 3D poodle, kind of based on Courtney Nicole's big design for hers. And I'm going to be using rainbow for the poofs and white for the body. You will need one loom, a hook, and I'd say two packs of bands. One, ba one pack for your poof color and one pack for your body color. And if you're using the same color, like this white one, then you want to just get two packs of that same color. And with paws, um, you need 40 of whatever color that's going to be. And that would include the nose and eyes. So black for the nose and eyes, which is only four. And then whatever your paw color is, about... 36 then. So let's begin. I'm going to start by making the paws. You're going to take your body color, double loop it, and put it from these two picks. You're going to do that again. No, you're not. Sorry. You're going to take whatever your paw color is you're going to put it on your hook, wrap it four times around so you have four loops, and then you're going to take that double loop, and you're going to pull that gray or black or pink, whatever you're making your paw, onto it. And then you're going to place that right here. Slide it up, make it centered. And then you're going to do one more double loop right here. Now we're going to do the side. The whole paw is double looped, so I'm not going to say that every time. I'm going to stop right there because we need to make some claws. You're going to take one gray or whatever, and you're going to wrap it five times. Say so that. And then you're going to take a double looped gray. Put it on your hook and slide these bands on there. Okay. Now you're going to take another double looped. You're going to slide that onto here. And you're going to place that right here. Make sure it's facing outwards so it faces like to the left. My left. <laughs> And now you're going to make three more of those and place it here and then diagonally. Make sure it's facing outwards. I'm going to be kind of silent this tutorial because I am sick slightly and I don't want to make it worse by talking a lot. So <clears throat> it's going to be kind of silent tutorial. Hope you don't mind. Okay, once you've placed that, you've completed your paw, and you're going to cap it off by wrapping your body color four times around. And then you're going to dig under all the cap band, grab the top two, loop it over here. You're going to do that again with the next two and then all the way up the bottom too. Okay. 
Now you're going to go under these two, bring it up, these two. This is just basic looming, double loop. Okay, this one right here could possibly break. If it does, then we can always replace it. Mine didn't, that's good. So now you're going to go down this, take a band of any color, because you're going to remove it, place it right there, and go over. Okay, so you have a knot right there. You're going to remove your paw. Okay. So now you have a paw. You're going to need to make three more. So you have four, and then I am going to show you how to make the front leg. Okay. So to start the front leg, we are going to take two bands, right here, here, and then diagonally from the middle to my left. Oops, <laughs> band went flying. Okay, then you're going to go down twice on the left, and then down three. Once, twice, three times. And now we're going to place the poofs. So you're going to take whatever your poof color is, mine is red and orange, you're going to take it, I should probably show you how to make them, you're going to do this and then twist it once and then put it back on. Pretty simple. And you're going to take two, pull it on, lay it right here. And then you're going to do that again, this time I'm going to use orange but you can use whatever your poof color is. And I'm gonna slide it on, put it right here. Okay, so that's basically all your leg. Now you're going to take a double looped body color, put it right here. Okay. Now you want to take one of your paws. You're going to go through all of the double loop bands and I like to pull my whatever holding band off and then place it but you can leave it on if it makes you feel happy okay there we go and you're just going to leave it there for now and you want to take whatever your poof color is and just wrap two of them around so then you're going to go down the paw, you're going to pull this up, and you're going to slide a poof on. Like that. Then you're going to slide another poof on. Like so. And then you're going to go up these three. Oops. Okay. Or these five, sorry, or no, three. Ugh. I'm like losing my mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we've looped all the way up, and you just want to take your holding bands, put it through, tie it off, put it through, and it off and I dropped a purple band. Oh, there we go. Now you can just pull this off. Okay, there we go. So now you're going to make a symmetrical one. I mean, you can make it symmetrical. No, wait, you have to make it symmetrical. Yeah, make a symmetrical one. So you have two. Symmetry. Now we are going to make the back leg, which is, you're going to take two bands, go down the middle, twice, 
and then down each side once. <laughs> Now go diagonal. Okay. Now you're going to go down three times again. Three. Okay. Now you want to do the same thing. Get your poofs. The yellow one. Ooh, I cannot get my poof on. Okay, there we go. Then do two bands. Slide it on. Put that right here. <coughs> Excuse me. My sick and my cold has also come with a cough. So that's nice. Okay, so now you have this, and you're going to take two bands and just do a triangle shape right here. And the same thing, you're going to take your paw, grab, try to get all the bands. You're going to take it off if you want. Put it on. Gonna get my poofs on. Get my yellow and get my green. Okay. Just same thing that we did with the other leg, except you're going to loop up just get a couple more bands. Oops. Try not to grab the poof. Because then you'll stretch it out, but it's fine if you do. You can always straighten it out at the end. Okay, there we go. Got it all looped up so we can do our tying bands. Now you can just take it off. Okay. And so now you have four legs. So that's the end of part one. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I didn't do too bad. But give me advice on what I need to do better. So... Thank you for watching, and go to part two for the next part of the tutorial, which will probably be the head. Um, bye!